guys, so I'm back. I know I've been gone quite a long time, um, it's because I've been getting a degree and stuff, but I'm now done, I'm done with uni. Um, on Friday I will know if I have actually passed my degree, but for now I'm free. And yeah, I've been doing lots of stuff because I just moved, which you will know if you follow my blog, because it's basically all I talk about. So today I'm going to do my May favourites, which is sort of more of a, the past few months favourites because I haven't been doing favourites but yeah I'm really excited and I have quite a few things not so much like beauty and makeup kind of stuff because you know I haven't really been wearing much makeup it's summer I had exams well I didn't have exams I was writing my dissertation so I was going to the library every day I didn't really put on much makeup but now I just can't really be bothered but I do have quite a lot of like home stuff lifestyle stuff, quite a few random favourites, so let's get started! Right, so I'm going to get started with some makeup stuff um, and I have the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro 1 which is basically a dupe for the, um, oh, what's it called? Lorac Pro palette um, uh, How do I do this without blinding you? So this is what it looks like it's got some really nice shades, it's literally the only eyeshadow palette I have at the moment because I don't have my entire makeup collection at the new apartment yet but I've literally just been using this every single time I put on makeup, it's all I need I haven't really been wanting any of my other eyeshadows which is annoying because obviously I have all of them but it, yeah, basically all you need is in this palette and it's really good quality considering it's I think £6 and you get 12 shades in here which is incredible and they're really good quality better than the other Makeup Revolution shadows that I've tried um, I haven't really tested any of them properly but like just from swatching I'd say these are like smoother and the mattes are amazing like I've had MAC matte I've had matte MAC eyeshadows that haven't been as blendable as them so I'm really really happy with that I also got a new foundation, I did a blog post about this um, this is the L'Oreal matte infallible foundation and I got it in the shade vanilla and it's really great it's like a matte foundation which is good for me because I have like combination to oily skin um, but it goes on really nice it makes your face look flawless and the other night I actually wore it to karaoke so I spent two hours in a ridiculously hot booth I was sweating and I came home and like I was a little bit shiny but not particularly shiny so I was really impressed with that um, and I love this foundation. I bought it because I ran out of my L'Oreal True Match and I just wanted to try something new and everyone's talking about this at the moment so I thought I'd try it out and I wasn't disappointed. And then my last makeup favourite is a lipstick. <sighs> um, this is a YSL Rouge Volupt and it's in the shade. It doesn't say the shade. <laughs> That's helpful. But it's basically, I'm wearing it right now. It's just a perfect like dark brownie nude shade and I've been wearing every single day that I've been wearing makeup, it's incredible. It's really buttery and smooth and creamy, but it's really cre it's really creamy um, and smooth and it's really hydrating as well, but it lasts forever. I swear it like stains your lips. It's amazing, like today I wore it all day, I went into town, I had coffee. Uh, I was walking around all day and it was still on at the end of the day, so I'm really impressed with that. It is pricey, but it's like the one lipstick that I know I'll get so much use out of, so I thought it was okay to splurge on that one. I also have one like body favourite, which is the Orange Gas... Orange... Sovan Glory Orange Jasm um, Exfoliating Body Polish. I love the Sovan Glory scrubs, but I kind of get annoyed with the tubs, and the orange asm is my favourite scent, so when I saw this, this is new I think, um, I was really excited and I really like it. It's a nice scrub, it's not like super abrasive, but it gets the job done and it just smells amazing and I love using it in the morning. I have a fashion favourite, actually two fashion favourites. Um, my first fashion favourite is these sunglasses, they're from Key Australia and I got them on ASOS. Oh, they're just so cool, like every time I put them on I feel just like more fashionable even if I'm just wearing jeans and t-shirt I feel like these really dress up your outfit they're like the, that accessory and they kind of go with everything I think they're actually really flattering like they're crazy but at the same time they're awesome so I'm really happy with those I got them from ASOS and uh, I actually got them because Daphne was talking about them on um, in, uh, on Twitter she has a blog as well 
and a YouTube, I think. I don't know. I'll link her below. Um, but yeah, she was talking about them on Twitter, saying how, oh, should I get these? Can I pull them off? And I immediately went on them and I found them in black because she had them in like a cream colour, I think. Um, and I was like, I need to get those. And I have ASOS Premium, so I had them the next day. <laughs> and it's amazing. I, I'm absolutely in love with them. I've been wearing them every single time I leave the house. Um, so yeah. My other fashion favourite is over there, so I shall get it. My other fashion favourite is some boots. Um, there's a... F nah, not really a funny story. Basically, when I get to, um, went to buy these, I bought them on my birthday. For my birthday, I went on a trip to Ikea in Lakeside, and then we went to the big Lakeside shopping centre. So we went to Forever 21, and I found these. And I went to my housemate, look, they're the perfect summer boots! And she just burst out laughing, because the concept of summer boots is just so me. <laughs> I'm the only person I know who has summer boots, because, you know, what other shoes would I wear in summer if not boots? And I really like these because they're like a khaki colour, so they're not black, which is something else for me, you know? And they kind of break up my entirely black outfits that I tend to wear. Um, and I like that they have like the holes on the side, so they let your feet breathe. And they're just really comfy and nice, and I really like them. And I think they were like £25, which is really good value. I tend to buy like summer boots every summer, and then I wear them throughout the entire summer, and then by the end of the summer I basically have to throw them away. Um, but yeah, when they're only £25, I don't really mind that, and yeah, it's fine. Now I have tons and tons and tons of um, home, home favourites, because obviously I just moved into a new flat, and uh, there's loads of things that I've bought because I basically had nothing. I've lived in furnished houses for like the past three years, so now I'm buying furniture and I'm buying all these decorations because it's the first time I've had my own place and it's unfurnished, so yeah. Um, firstly, we have... what do I want? Hmm. Ooh. I'm in love with coasters. They're one of those like things that adults have. Like, I've never used poke coasters in my life before, and now I'm, like, obsessed with them. And I found these amazing ones. Um, they're just, like, wood. But they're so pretty and so functional, and I actually use them all the time. Like, I kind of thought, oh, I'll buy coasters and I'll never use them, but I actually use them all the time. And I got these from HomeSense, and they were $4.99 for five, I think? Which is really good, like, considering that how nice they are. So I was really happy with those. I am such a blogger. It's so painful. I got these Kilner jars to drink out of. Um, I found them on Argos. They were £20 for six, because I didn't have any glasses. I have like the occasional glass, but I mainly have mugs. Um, so I thought I needed some glasses, and I got these, and I just love them. I think they're just so cute. Uh, I like that they have a handle, and I just pop a straw in there, I just drink out of this. And I have like my smoothies and stuff out of these things and I love them and they were really cheap I mean six for 20 pounds is really good and I reckon they'll last me a long time and they are just such a blogger cliche next thing I have is really quite random but it's a bottle opener and I just love this bottle opener um, it's from H&M Home and it's really like weighty and nice like you wouldn't think that I think this was like five pounds but you wouldn't think that it was um, and I think it's a really pretty design and it looks lovely on my little tray on my coffee table because I wanted something that looks nice because it's on display. So I got that. Next I have some candles and candle related things. Um, I have this candle which is the Makers of Wax Goods Candle and Bourbon and oh my god, this is the most incredible scent ever. It sounds weird like bourbon but it's just such a nice scent. It's sort of like how you would expect a really fancy gentleman's club to smell and obviously I would want my living room to smell like a really nice gentleman's club um, but yeah I love this and I'm always done with it and it's so sad because when I bought it they had a huge version of it for £15 but like for a massive candle but I was like no I don't know if I like the scent and oh, I'll come back for it and then when I came back obviously it wasn't there anymore and you can't actually buy makers of wax goods candles in England other than in home scents if you can and you know where, please let me know because I need to. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really sad because I barely ever have them and I'm like, no, I don't want to finish it. Um, the next one is like a little votive candle. This is um, amber tobacco, amber rose tobacco, I think it's called. Uh, it's from D-Lights Candles. If you follow my blog, you'll have seen that I did like a, I did a review on the My Candle Club UK um, 
subscription box, which is a candle subscription box, best thing ever. Um, and yeah, they sent me this and like loads of other scents, but this is my favorite. It's like a rose scent, but it has again that like masculine feel to it. And I really like it. And these are so strong, you would not believe. Like this is a tiny little candle, but it fills up my big living room. And I'm really impressed with them. And I will definitely be ordering the big pillar candle of these. And then to go with that, this is quite random, but I wanted a nice lighter. I don't use matches at all, I can't deal with them, I'm quite scared of fire. So um, I have like the long lighters, but the one I have was, had was like yellow and just not very nice and I like to have it out on my tray. And then I found this at Asda, which is really cool. And it's, like, it's a lighter, just like that. Um, but it's like really nice and sleek and silver and it was £1.50 which I think was amazing, so that now lives on my coffee table. My favourite is this pillow. Um, this is from H&M Home, you'll have probably seen it if you follow like ghost parties. Um, loads of YouTubers and bloggers have this pillow because it's just awesome. I like it, my pillow ske um, colour scheme is black and white, so it fit in perfectly. Um, and yeah, it's from H&M Home, I'll link it below. It's £15 I think for the cushion cover, and obviously you have to buy the cushion insert separately. Um, and then my last home favourite is my Richard Avedon Marilyn Monroe print. It's Richard Avedon's my favourite photographer. Um, I have like a whole book of his work. Um, but I really, really love this photo he took of Marilyn Monroe because it's not like a post photo, it sort of seems like she was having like a little break and I just love it and I ordered a print of it somewhere on the internet. They're really hard to find, like digital prints of it that you can order and stuff, so um, I bought that. I'll insert a clip of it here, it's on my gallery wall. Um, but yeah, I really love that and I think just it looks so pretty. So I've got a little frame for it and I'm just slightly obsessed with it because I love Richard Avedon. Um, now I have some random favourites. Um, my first random favourite is a snack and this is the Urban Fruit. Um, smashing strawberry and this is like baked strawberry so they're quite gooey but these are the best snack ever I love them they're like two pounds for a bag but there's quite a lot in here and it's like a healthy snack I don't think there's any added sugar or anything is there no just the strawberries and a dash of apple juice so this is literally just strawberries um, and I'm in love with these I just have them as like a little snack so I'm trying to be healthier again because I gained loads of weight over um, dissertation season because I was in the library all day eating crap really. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. I was in the library all day eating crap. Another random favourite, this is quite large, is my guitar. Hi. Um, I've recently like rediscovered guitar playing. So I've been like playing it loads and I find that if I'm really passionate about it and I find a song that I really want to play then it's a lot easier to just sit down and make myself learn it. Um, so I've been doing that a lot and that's been really fun and like one of the things to do when you don't have uni anymore and don't really know what to do with your life. Some TV favourites, I have two TV shows that I've been watching loads. The first one's Nashville, which is about like country singers in Nashville and I'm a huge, huge fan of country music. It's like my guilty pleasure. I absolutely love it. Oh, hello. Um, I absolutely love country music. So it's a really cool show and loads of things happen and it's one of those like fun shows and I've watched all three seasons of it um, in the past like few weeks. Oops. The favourite TV show I have is The Following which is on Netflix, well on American Netflix and my friend Zoe told me about it. It is literally like, oh, I'm obsessed with serial killers, I have a weird obsession with serial killers which probably explains my psychology degree um, but it's about a serial killer who is in prison but he has a following outside of prison who killed for him and it's one of those things, it's like Game of Thrones you have no idea what's gonna happen most shows are just so predictable but with the following it has so many plot twists that you just would not expect which is amazing I don't recommend watching it by yourself at night because it is scary it's so good and I'm on season 2, I think I'm towards the end of season 2 at the moment it's one of those shows where the first season is really good, like Prison Break, but then the concept kind of runs out because like they get to the end of the original concept, so they have to come up with something else for season two, so season two isn't quite as good, but they've thrown some good plot twists in there, so it's still pretty damn good. And I'm really enjoying that. 
Um, my favourite bloggers of the month, I'm going to say, are Jordan from Hello Miss Jordan because she's just one of my favourite people in the world and she's been really stepping up her game with her blogging. Her photography's been amazing, she's been doing loads of things like she took a part in a t-shirt competition for Boohoo and I'm just really proud of what she's done and where she's got, she's almost at 700 followers now I think. So I'm going to link her down below, follow her on Blog Lovin if you don't already. So my camera ran out of space, like on the memory card, and I'm running out of light, so I'm going to end this here. Um, so yeah, that was it for my May favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed to me yet, then please do click the subscribe button below. And head over to my blog as well. I post every other day, and I do loads of beauty, lifestyle, a lot of home decor posts nowadays. So if that's something you're interested in, um, I'm going to link that below as well, obviously. I'm linking everything below, basically. Um, so yeah, have a look at that as well, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.